I enter a world that's hidden by tons of ice for seven months of the year. Oh my god, it's cavernous down here. We've just timed this just perfectly. Otherwise, we would be under the water right now. And this is what it looks like under all this ice. It's seaweed and this, which is what we're looking for. Mollusks. These blue mussels are highly prized. They're a major source of protein and crammed with vitamins. Inuit consider them worth the risk. But right now, I'm not so sure. What's very unnerving? This is the crack that we were digging out. This is the weakest part of tons and tons of ice that are over our head. I don't like this feeling at all. Okay. The ice chamber is anything but stable. As the tide recedes and leaves a void behind, there's nothing to support the roof over our heads other than its own weight pressing against itself. And as the sun warms it up on the surface, it settles into new positions beneath. Getting trapped down here doesn't bear thinking about. I've got to put the dangers to the back of my mind and concentrate on the job at hand. You just pry these muscles off the rocks. They're mostly in the tight spaces between the rocks and underneath them. We need a good haul to justify the risk of coming down here. But harvesting these muscles takes time, and time is what we don't have. The tide will soon be coming in. We have to work quickly and methodically, but it isn't easy. To make matters worse, the fear is returning. You can just hear the ice shifting. And it's just echoing through this hall of ice. In the frantic search for muscles, I have to head deeper into the caverns. It's tight, dark, and I can no longer see my way out. This is my worst nightmare. Uh, uh. 